All right. Hi, guys. I wanted to give a quick update on the state of the markets. Obviously, we are on a pretty sizable slide right now. Uh, if you've been long on crypto, as most of our audience is, um, it's been a rough few days. The past three days, Bitcoin's dropped about 13%. Uh, just in the past 24 hours, it's down 7%, and uh, Ethereum also down about 7%. You can see just in the 24 hours how much altcoins in particular have taken a beating. And of course, Dino, uh, my colleague, put out a great article a few hours ago <coughs> about uh, exchange inflow spiking, um, network realized profit loss um, going negative. There's quite a few interesting metrics going on. But I wanted to give kind of an overview of all metrics now, because if you are deciding that now is the time you want to dip by, it may not necessarily be in Bitcoin or Ethereum. There are obviously thousands and thousands of coins to choose from. So we're looking here at, of course, just the top 100 and their 24 hour returns. You can see, you know, Celo and uh, OMG being the two lone positive gainers uh, in this short period of time. But for the most part, you know, what this screener does really well is it allows you to, you know, visualize, of course, what price changes look like. You can see down here things like the price chart in a short um, and, and compact chart, see the overall price, volume, the actual volume by one day percent, which is quite interesting. That shows kind of how much the uh, it, it relates a little bit to things like exchange inflow and, and just the overall trading activity of a coin when things do get volatile right now. So, you know, I can, uh, of course, uh, sort around. There it goes. A little bit of lag. Let's see if I can get. It's going to just do the entirety of all of the, the assets we cover. So many of these coins are very, very small um, and you may not have heard of them before. But, yeah, overall, we are... Um, able to look at many, many different things here that can help give us uh, an idea of which metrics, which, which assets, I should say, might be standing out according to our metrics. And I have this other tab here to show things like MVRV, right, which we've talked about before. MVRV is a way of measuring how much uh, trading returns are being moved one way or the other um, when it, no matter what time frame you're looking at, whether it's MVRV 30 day, like I've highlighted here, 180 day, one year, it's all going to hover right around 0% because there's an equal amount of winning and losing going on in crypto trading, um, despite many people thinking otherwise. And what you can often do when there's a slide is look at something like MVRV 30 day, put an extreme negative percentage here and filter by just the tokens that have taken the biggest beating by their average traders. And this would mean that there is a smaller risk than average in buying a position here. It, obviously, I don't know much about these assets that are highlighted here. They are pretty much all obscure to me as far as I know. Um, you know, the, the largest one here would be Keystone of Opportunity and Knowledge, which I've vaguely heard of maybe once or twice as the 192nd ranked uh, market cap crypto asset. But what you can at least do is look at different assets based on a, a plethora of different criteria. You can go by market cap, size, um, all sorts of things so that you're not looking at, you know, assets outside of the top 100 you may not be familiar with. But many of you do like these more um, unknown assets and you can look at all sorts of metrics like market cap, volume, of course, Social volume and do dominance, we've talked about often, often. Development activity is, of course, a great one to see the long-term validity of the project and whether their developers are actually working to improve and innovate. Network growth, age consumed, all of our uh, main metrics are here. And uh, I, I definitely think that our screener is one of the more underutilized aspects of the site. So you guys should check it out. All you got to do is check out the header up here and you'll see the separate tab here for screener. And you can go to your own screeners. You can make your own here. All sorts of stuff. Um, that's a lot of fun. And speaking of MVRV, I wanted to give everyone a glimpse of the uh, MVRV model that we have available to all Sandbase Pro members. As long as you have a Pro membership, then you have an API that you can check out and use to plug into one of our models simply by making a copy 
by going to file, make a copy. You'll then have your own that you, you're the sole owner of. And the only way it will work is if you plug in your API, go to add on sand sheets, enter your API key right there. And after that, you'll see the data tab over here, compile all of the data according to what uh, a projects we're looking at. So here, of course, we have the date that it's supposed to go to, and you can simply delete it and then hit the undo button here, and it will give it a manual refresh in case there is any trouble getting it to work. I know many of you have this question where you do all the steps of downloading the Sandsheets model that we've created, make your own copy, plug, it, plug in your API, and it just won't load. This tends to be the trick, right? Just delete the yellow cell um, that you'll often see in our data tab that's usually on the rightmost end, and then hit undo, and it will do a nice little manual refresh. Now onto this actual model. Um, the key usage would be this opportunity and danger zone divergence tab, which gives you a glimpse of which average trader intervals are seeing the most bullish or bearish uh, indication. Essentially, as the average trading returns go way, way into the negative across multiple different time frames, time frames of MVRV, you will often see um, it turn into an underbought signal like we see here with Engine, for example. These are mostly ERC-20s uh, because we have the most data on them, but there are a few non-ERC-20s that we do have MVRV data for. Um, we can see here Bitcoin, for example, is now semi-underbought, mostly because the seven-day and the 30-day MVRV have been so far in the uh, negative direction for traders that that means that it's a less risky time to buy. So that's skewing up the average MVRV here and pushing it toward this huge opportunity zone that we can see a couple projects here. Kyber Network is actually off the charts above the opportunity zone, which is interesting. Um, and then we also have synthetics over here. And this is just a small handful of the uh, hundreds of project projects that we have ERC-20 data on. So I thought I'd, I'd throw this model out there. I think it's a really interesting one to look at when there are dips. So you can see which ones are kind of the most underbought and which, you know, FOMO traders have been the most punished uh, depending on which asset you're checking out. The other model I wanted to show off briefly is our social dominance chart, which is pretty much hot off the presses as of last week. And what it does is show how much dominance socially, basically how much um, public platforms on Twitter, Discord, um, all sorts of different platforms that we have public data on are getting an increase in discussion right now. And this compares that each asset versus itself, what it looks like right now versus its three month average. So for example, Solana is still getting more discussion than normal compared to its three month average and has been getting that for about three weeks now, um, a pretty high number like this. 223 isn't quite what it was. If we looked a week ago, it was actually well over 600% above its average mean. And then we can see here like Avalanche, which has been extremely volatile, is also well above its mean. So oftentimes when we see big social dominance spikes, in other words, ones well above their average, that means that there's an increase in um, either FOMOers or FUDders, depending on what direction the price is moving. Right now, it's, of course, moving down. So seeing projects that are extreme, and none of these are really extreme in the moment. at the moment, mind you. You can see all this blank space up here really the you know 500% or above or when you really start to see the standouts that are getting a massive amount of discussion compared to the norm. Um, and those are the ones you can really capitalize on and look at as indications for a, an upcoming direction change, if you will. So I like this one a lot. Um, both of these models we will leave links for in the description of this video. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments or talk to us in the general channel on the Santiment Discord. Hope you all have a great Tuesday and I'll talk to you soon.